All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bakar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. In the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the brother Yakanan from the GMS England branch. And, um, you know, at the beginning of my videos, when I say, um, in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days, you know, I really mean that. All right. And I'm sure any brother that's laboring, you know, in this faith, in this ministry is in the same spirit because we honestly, you know, do these videos in the sincere hopes, you know, of being delivered in these last days. You know, we hope and we pray that the Lord shows mercy and has favor upon us. And her Lord willing, you know, we be counted, you know, of the elect. All right. So we don't do these videos in vain. We do these videos in the hopes that, you know, we're delivered. All right. And of course we do these videos because the Lord has put the spirit within us to do these videos. All right. And to be fervent and constant and consistent, you know, in this truth, you know, it's the Lord has to put the spirit on you to be actively in the game, so to speak, you know, and the scriptures also tell us that through the fear of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, do we persuade men, okay, so we, <clears throat> we absolutely fear Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, all right, and that's um another reason why we do these videos and we consistently put forth the effort to make our calling and election sure, you know, as the scriptures say, all right, through the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh do we persuade men. Now, another scripture that's just come to mind, the scriptures also tell us to work out your own salvation with fear and um, with trembling, okay? So that's um, definitely the spirit that we are in, especially in these last days, seeing how these prophecies, you know, are coming to pass and are, uh, you know, establishing themselves upon the earth through the spirit. Now, <clears throat> this video, which is from Redacted, was not long ago, you know, just uploaded. And it's entitled British Censorship, UK Government to Arrest Citizens for Misogyny. All right. Now, let me just play this video. All right. Well, the UK will start arresting people for misogyny. Oh, and sorry, that was mine. Yes. <laughs> you want me to say that? Well, I mean, I can say it because that's what's actually happening right now in the UK. It's draconian what's happening there. You had a chance to speak with Jim Ferguson um, about this. Uh, he's a former uh, candidate for parliamentary candidate, and he's a journalist, and he's a founder of Freedom Train International. And uh, he he's, he's furious about it. Right. So what the UK is doing is they say they will arrest people for misogyny and they will monitor your social media to make sure you don't say anything that they don't like. They're saying they're doing this to combat the radicalization of young men online. Of course, this sounds like radical government to me. So this is what Jim Ferguson had to say about it when I spoke to him last week. So you heard it, you know, and, um, you know, it goes about saying that things are drastically and quickly, you know, intensifying via the root of draconianism, all right? They want to have full control 
over whatever content you're putting out there online. And not only online, but in person also, all right? So they definitely want to put a chokehold on freedom of speech and discussing, you know, particular topics online or in person, which is going to usher in Amos chapter 8 and verse 11, all right, which is the famine of the words of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, and that, like I always say, there's going to come a time where you're not going to be able to freely and comfortably, from the comfort of your home, you know, sit and watch the apostles and the elders and brothers of Great Millstone. All right, there's going to come that time, it's not going to be possible. There's going to come a time you're not going to be able to watch a breakdown video going into a particular, you know, um, chapter slash, you know, subject matter. All of that is coming to an end. You know, the time of the ministry, meaning, you know, the street ministry and the, the internet ministry is coming to a close. All right. Cause we're in the midst of the end of this world. So the word must needs be withdrawn in order to fulfill biblical prophecy, all right? So as terrifying and, you know, daunting as it seems, it's actually, you know, biblical prophecy and something that must actually come to pass in order for um, the next phase of the destruction of Esau, Edom's kingdom to be fulfilled, all right? And that's why it tells us in... um. Let me get it right quick. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. The scriptures say, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Okay? So seek the Lord while you can find him. Call on him now while he is near. Okay? And the only way you can seek Yehobar Shimi Awashai is via his men, all right, via the prophets of Yehobar Shimi Awashai that have the truth, that have the pure doctrine that's been bestowed upon us through the spirit and power of Yehobar Shimi Awashai via way of the apostles, elders, and, um, you know, bishops and brothers, so on and so forth of Great Millstone, and anyone that teaches the same thing. That's how you get. You know, the words of Yahweh Shimi Awashai. You know, the true understanding, this truth. Okay? That's how you gain access to the Lord through his men. All right? Through the correct understanding that, um, you know, you receive. You know, that's how you are washed via the water of the word. Okay? By accepting the pure words of Yahweh Shimi Awashai and repenting and changing your ways. Okay, we're in a time where the ability to do that is going to close. All right, so again, Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6 Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, call ye upon him while he is near. Verse 7 Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him okay so there's still an opportunity to receive mercy from Yahweh Shem Shai. there's still an opportunity and if you will time to make that change before all hell breaks loose all right now again you know as you heard in the video things are getting a lot more draconian Okay, things are getting a lot more draconian and um, the powers that be of Esau Edom's realm are coming down heavy upon the ability of preaching this word. Okay, because that's really what it's all about. All right, as we always tell you, it's really all about cancelling out the words of Yahweh Shimi Awashai. 
and preventing any form of truth ultimately from being shared online or in person, okay? So again, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon, okay? Now, as I was saying, things are getting a lot more draconian and things are getting a lot more harsh, all right? Because, um, you know, I believe when you go into the word draconian, you know, it basically goes into harsh laws. You know, you had Draco, if I remember correctly, he was um, a Grecian lawgiver who was known for issuing out, you know, harsh judgments, okay? So, that time of harsh judgments from the powers that be is manifesting itself, okay? And that's because, you know, these, these, um, these wicked elites, they know and they understand that they have a short time in their rulership and they will do whatever they can in order to um, buy time, if you will, even though we know that's not possible, all right? Because it's Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai that has set the bounds that they're not able to pass, as it tells us in the book of Job, all right? But nonetheless, you know, these devils will try anything that they can in order to... Um, extend you know their rulership all right because that's the pride of esau edom and that's why it says in the um book of obadiah you know that their pride has deceived them you know they're deceived by their own pride you know now this is revelation chapter 12 and um verse 12 and it reads therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time, all right? So they know that they have but a short time left to rule in their kingdom, okay? Just like how we survey the times and measure the time diligently, Esau has his way of doing that on the left-hand side, okay? First and foremost, just by seeing the prophets of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai on the highways and the byways, that's an indication of his downfall, all right? And you think this man doesn't know that? You think this man doesn't know that the fact that we're out there on the highways and the byways bringing out all of this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Holy Bible, letting the world know who he is according to the Holy Bible and who we are according to the Holy Bible, you think he doesn't know that that signifies the end of his rulership, all right? You think they don't, you know, watch, you know, the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, okay? Hey, Esau, Esau is, um, you know, a high-level demon, okay? So he's privy, you know, to information, all right, he's a watcher also, but just on the left-hand side. He's well aware of what's going on in the realm, you know, of um, this thing of ours, okay? That's why he's able to, you know, send spies, you know, um, um, crept in unawares, you know, so on and so forth. Because he's trying to, you know, find things out. But what this demon doesn't understand is that we put everything out there. All right, everything is in video format, okay? The agenda, all right, of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai is in the Holy Scriptures already, all right? They, they, ain't, they ain't nothing secret, <laughs> all right, that um you can find out, okay? The Scriptures tell us, you know, let your light so shine before men so others may see. We put everything out there through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, Ain't nothing to hide, all right? The agenda is clear, all right? We're going to keep prophesying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai, 
We're going to keep going out there on the highways and the byways for as long as the Lord allows us to. Okay? Until all of these prophecies are fulfilled and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, comes back and um, enables you, you know, to go into slavery. Okay? This is not something we're going to do off of our own back. We don't have the power. Okay? That's why the scripture is saying, and um, let me get it right quick. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Let's get that. Right, this is Zephaniah, Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 8. And it reads, Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. All right? Now, who's the prey? The prey, uh, first and foremost, is um, Esau, Edom. And the other heathen nations, but the primary prey that Yahweh Shai is coming back to dethrone is Esau Edom, because this is his kingdom. Okay, Job chapter 9 and verse 24. Um, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, and he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. Okay. So therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. For my determination is to gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. All right? So Yahweh Shai is coming back to destroy this kingdom. Okay? And the scriptures also tell us that, you know, he had many crowns upon his head. Now, that's not literal, you know, crowns upon his head. But what that symbolizes is that he's going to take down all of these kingdoms upon the earth. Okay? He's going to conquer all of these kingdoms upon the earth, man. Okay? So that's what we are patiently waiting upon, is the return of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, so these prophecies can be perfectly fulfilled. Okay? And that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay? So as you heard in that um, redacted video, they're coming down heavy on any form of truth, all right, or any form of um, so-called, you know, offensive opinion. They're coming down heavy on those things because ultimately they don't want any, um, they don't want anyone going against the narrative that they're trying to push. Okay, and that reminds me of Isaiah. What's that? 59 and 15. Let's get that right quick. All right. It's Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 15. And it says, Yea, truth faileth. And he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. And the Lord saw it and it displeased him that there was no judgment. All right. So this is the time that we are heavily entering into. Okay. Where you are demonized. Okay, where you are targeted for speaking out against any form of evil or having an opinion that goes against the narrative that they're trying to cement in their society. Okay, you are going to be become prey. You are going to be targeted. All right, you will be thrown in jail. All right, you have to do time. So things are going to start getting real. And this is the real test. All right, this is the real test, man. This is a real test of our faith. Okay. And Yahweh Shai already warned us, you know, of these things, man. So think it not a strange thing if you actually end up imprisoned for preaching the words of Yahweh Barashim Yahweh Shai. All right. Hey, it's happened before. All right. It's happened, you know, to um to our teachers before, man. Okay, it's happened to brothers. All right. So this thing is ramping up. And, and again, you know, this is a beautiful thing, really, because it signifies, you know, the last fragments of Esau Edom's kingdom being rolled out, you know, being wrapped up for destruction. So. I'm going to cut it off there. You know, Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai. 
by Hashem Kodesh, and um, until next time, Shalom.